Praise the Lord. Welcome to About Gospel Channel. My name is Peter J. Today again here is the new topic about how countries got the gospel. At the start of the 6th century, the first, Hiberno-Scottish, missionaries arrived. They were later replaced by Anglo-Saxon missionaries, who eventually succeeded in converting most of the inhabitants of the southern Netherlands to Christianity by the 8th century. From the late 7th century, missionaries coming from England and Ireland, such as Boniface, Libuanus, Ludger, Pletchelm, Wilhad, and especially Willebrord, sought to convert the inhabitants of the areas north of the Meuse and Rhine rivers to Christianity. They had varying degrees of success, as attested by the, not always reliable, descriptions of their lives that have been written about them. While some sermons yielded success, Frisian King Radboud refused to be baptized by Wolfram. Because he was assured of getting to heaven if he repented and converted, Radboud instead chose an afterlife with his ancestors who, according to Wolfram, were in hell. After the Frisian-Frankish Wars, c. 600-793, and the Saxon Wars, 772-804, the Low Countries all fell under the rule of the Christian Frankish kings. They wanted their people to be both religious and political subjects, as the kings claimed the divine right of leadership. The old Saxon baptismal vow describes how one must renounce his old gods, described as devils, and submit to the Christian trinity. In the 8th century, Anglo-Saxon missionaries such as Boniface continued efforts to Christianize the land inhabited by the Frisians. But Boniface was killed in 754 near Dockham by the Frisians because they thought he carried gold. The missionaries gradually succeeded in the conversion of the north in the 8th century. By the beginning of the 9th century, the Saxon-controlled northeastern regions were also subjugated and Christianized by Libuanus, Plachelmus, and Ludger. It took until 1000 CE before all pagan people were Christianized, and the Frisian and Saxon religions had died out. Elements of these religions were absorbed into the Christian religion, which is syncretic. During the following centuries, Catholic Christianity was the main religion in the Netherlands, but other practices likely survived in the conservative societies of the villages.